live or not. It's, it's live. It's live. It says live right there in red. Oh, right there. Five seconds. It's Whoa. Click here at any time to view the post on Facebook. Okay. Okay. All right. Uh, oh. And we went really tiny. Oh. Oh. Really? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what's going on. Ah. Anyway, I want to go yeah. back to where we were. Okay. Okay. I'm going back. <laughs> Oh, keep talking. Oh. <laughs> You're okay. on. We're on. We're on. Oh, it's, look at They've got a little it's Bruce Williams. Up. Bruce Williams. Uh, Sharon Williams. Hi. Hi, everybody. We are uh, we are <clears throat> your antithesis to Morning Joe. <laughs> we are Evening Tea. Yeah. Evening B. Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah. we're back. There we are. And uh, we just uh, wanted to give you an update on the coronavirus situation from our uh, dungeon. Mary Tweetin just said hi, so did Michelle. Hi, Mary and Tweetin. And Reg. And we wanted to uh, keep you apprised. Is it apprised or is it appraised? I'm negative. I tested negative. That's what we wanted to Yay. inform everybody. that. Uh, and therefore, Bruce is negative because, you know, you know. You know, because we are swapping spit. I mean, we're not even observing the uh, six foot mm -hmm. rule. No, we're, we here. got like a six inch rule here. Yeah. And at night, we are getting it on like wild dogs. Huh. It, mm -hmm. it could be mm -hmm. our last one. Could mm -hmm. could be our last. You never know. Hey, Buck. Buck Ford. We love you too. We love Buck Ford. He's such a wonderful person. And uh, someday, a uh, lot of people will have the same I shape as from his Calgary. head. from Calgary. And uh, so we wanted to keep you updated on Sharon's condition. And by the and way, Jordan, Sharon, we're sorry we won't see you Sharon is drinking white wine from uh, Chateau Saint Jean, and I am drinking uh, red wine from Miles and More, and Miles and More before I sleep, and Miles and More before I sleep. <laughs> and we wanted to update you on things that. Um, we should all do that we're having a hard time doing like don't touch your face mm. don't touch your face i mean that's that's like you know it's it's just it's just so ingrained in me i i touch my face all the time i'm constantly doing this and uh, trying to reshape my face especially my <laughs> neck area which really don't needs do, a whole don't do that yeah it needs a whole lift there but uh but my doctor said there there just wasn't uh, enough equipment to get rid of that much skin. No, you don't want to touch your. So you don't want to touch your face. You don't want to touch someone else's face. You you want to stay clear of someone else. You don't want to unless it's your life partner. No, don't touch my face. Okay. okay All right. Thank right. You. How, how long can I keep that up? I don't, I don't know. know. I don't know. But I've always touched my face. I've always, uh, you know, I, you know, if my... Oh, I guess I'm from Idaho. Sharon Fletcher from Idaho. Oh, my, my classmate Sharon Fletcher. She's oh, cool. so beautiful. And her husband is just a... Hey, there's Robbery. There's, uh, there's, there's Robbery. There's your part. Oh, and he said hi to Percy. Oh. There's your partner. Oh, I yeah. forgot to introduce Percy. Uh, Percy is our uh, tricolored Yorkie. He said, and, be uh, very Yorkie. He, too, uh, came out negative uh, when they tested him for uh, no. heartworm. Oh, yes, heartworm. that's true. The heartworm, no heartworm test was negative on him, so that's really good. You can hey, see hey. how elated he is right now. He's just in party mode. <clears throat> they call him a party Yorkie because of their tricolor. He just likes to call him a party Yorkie because yeah. he likes to party. And stay six feet apart. We, we want... You know, you strangers especially. Like I walked Percy today, and some strangers came near me. They respected that six foot uh, radius. Yeah, because you looked a little it's questionable. A little iffy. Yeah. You know. So yeah, uh, social distancing. They call mm -hmm. it, which uh, I saw Lynn Anderson on there. Lynn Anderson. Um, we should actually call him. Yeah. We're going, uh, Lynn. I'm going to try to perform your song uh, later on in the show. Oh, yeah. That's he his, was just playing that that's earlier. His, uh, that's his song. If it's, it's okay with you, Lynn. It's a parody of uh, Margaritaville. Yeah, is he cute? And uh, so uh, make sure you wash your devices, you know. <laughs> 
<laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah. Sorry. No, it's not like I wash know, your I junk. Know. Yeah. No, wash your devices. Wash, you know, take a uh, one of those uh, Lysol wipes and wipe your phone down. Wipe your, mm. uh, see, I'm touching my face. Did you see that? I did. Yeah, I saw that. Touching my face yeah. just then. I'm not know? touching you. No, you can see this area is already reddened mm -hmm. from all the germs and stuff that I just uh, put on that. It's so. true that you're practicing social distancing in the in the bedroom. Yes, 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 <laughs> yes we are. We have yes. we have a huge. We have a uh, king bed. Yeah, we have king bed, and then we and have we are the, edge uh, sleepers, and <laughs> and we have the throw pillows that we just throw our legs. Oh, thank over. you, Rob. Rob Ree just pointed out our lovely background. This is the dungeon. This is a dungeon here at uh, Rancho Williams. Yes, and this is, uh, uh, we are sequestered down in there, and yeah. there are so many words for for what we're experiencing: quarantine, sequester, mm -hmm. uh, incubation, uh, isolation, uh, mas master locking everything down. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Mm. Mm -hmm. uh, approximately. They say approximately 90% of people who are tested will test negative. So it's the other 10% that you have to worry about. And that's, I touched my nose again, yeah, and you just touched my I face. Just touched your nose you're too. not supposed to do that. I know either. I'm not. I just couldn't help myself. Okay. She touched my face. Anyway, uh, last Sunday, you know, the cases are doubling. Last Sunday, it was 15,219 people in the U.S. that had the tested virus. Positive. And uh, now it's up to 63,744. That's a lot. Yeah. That's a lot. It's multiplying. And uh, it's Tennessee, scary. state of Tennessee, where we live, uh, 771 cases, which is more than almost quadrupled from what it was on Sunday. So that's what they're saying about this week, that it's really going to be bad, that things are going to double up, triple up, quadruple up. Uh, more cases will be reported and the uh, workers, you know, our hospital workers and stuff already strained to the max are going to be uh, just unbelievably uh, uh, Oh, God, my goodness. You know, and they keep getting saying, let's see, get the retired nurses up there. My mother just turned 89 and she's like, I wonder if I should come out of retirement. Yeah, she No, should, mom, no. You get out of that wheelchair fine. and get over there. <laughs> And help that person. You know, you're fine. <laughs> it's just, it's just. I crazy. think they can find somebody younger. Oh, who's sending you a oh, messenger video from Terry Ree? What? Answer it. Answer it. What? He's calling. Yeah. He's calling that. the house. Let's see if we can get him on camera. Uh, messenger video. Yeah. Did okay. you did you answer? I did. Well, where, do you, where do you yeah? go? Here he is, messenger. Are you uh, are you on? You on camera? Look at that. There, there you are. Yes, there, there he are. is. There. There. There he is. Now, I I spoke with a bunch of Canadian boys today. Yeah. And we were all we were all on picture here. Five, six of us talking. And, yeah. And why can't we do that with you? Why am I looking at it? Uh, some type of bizarre room. It's our dungeon. Could, could be in fake news and disinformation <laughs> program. Well, it probably is. It, it, this probably falls into that category, but... Uh, we'll hold it so he can see. There. So, there we go. So he can see the screen. There you are. And, uh, well, this, I, shouldn't, I shouldn't see your screen. I should see you uh, as, as you screen. see my face. Uh, that's the way. That's the way I saw all the Canadian boys. I know we haven't figured this out yet. This is all new. This is for new technology us. to us. So, uh, my wife, who is my IT, if she can't figure it out, I, I can't. Well, figure I, it, out. it just loaded this app, so it's all brand new. I, I loaded it and then I immediately started drinking wine. So it's going to take me a bit. Yeah, and if, if I can get you. If you can see all of us in that. I can see you on your computer there. Yeah? Yeah. And do you see Sharon as well, or is she I off? Sharon. I don't see you. I see That's because you're holding this in front okay. of your face. Okay. 
Uh oh. Gotta have that cough check. Facebook Live now. There. Well, no, we're yeah, Facebook Live. Yes. Yeah, we're on Facebook Live, and uh, and your son has been uh, communicating with us. Yeah, he's been he's been uh, commenting, saying uh, get off the air and save it for people who really need it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yes, and I wanted and, to ask uh, you: Are we, uh, you know, uh, are we elders? Yeah. Extreme elders. <laughs> <laughs> That's why you get to board first. <laughs> have you been drinking today? Yes. And what did you have to drink? Rum and diet. Hey, that's my favorite. That's all? Yes. Rum and diet. And then you were watching a special on uh, HBO? Yes. A documentary about? Truth and disinformation, the cost of fake news. Hmm. And that was on HBO. Pardon me? And yep. HBO, correct? HBO documentary, yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. It was a film, actually, about an hour and 40 minutes. Mm. And it dealt with, uh, <clears throat> I remember a few years ago, 2015, they were talking about Obama was uh, going to do military law and take over uh, Texas and lock up all the all the uh, dissidents in uh, closed Walmarts because they were all connected by tunnels in Texas. Mm. You never heard of that? No. It was that time. was that the fake or the real news? Well, it depends on if you're a Democrat or a Republican. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> I see. And it didn't happen, so... I would suppose it was fake news. And then you've heard me refer to the uh, uh, online stuff that supposedly uh, 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 supposedly influenced several million voters to vote for Trump, and that's why he's elected. Hmm. And the one was it said that Hillary Clinton was involved in a sex trading uh, oh, yeah. uh, in a pizzeria. In pizza joint, yeah. 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 Well, that whole pizza thing is on there, and it's Comet Pizza in Washington, D.C., and it's a big place, and this guy went in there with a couple of guns to see what was going on, and nothing happened, and uh, he didn't shoot anybody, although they said on on fake news that he shot up the the pizzeria, but he didn't. Uh -huh. uh, he just was in there, and and the staff went around, told each other, told all their tables, get out. You know, they said, no, we're not leaving. We're not done yet. So get out to this guy with the gun in here, and we're not totally sure what's going on. And so they all get the place, and then the SWAT team cops came and got him and nary a shot was fired and hillary came out from the back naked as a jaybird <laughs> and monica were all there uh -huh. of course <laughs> hillary could somehow draw it in one pipe and blow it out her ass so i don't know how that's done but <laughs> we we do have to warn our viewers there might be some language involved in tonight's yeah. show, yes. Mm. yes. And, and they had Zuckerberg on there, and he's claiming he didn't know a thing about any of this. And also did not know how much money he's made off Facebook. Of course oh, not. Yeah. I mean, once it gets up into the gazillions. That's right. Do you even care? You That's know? right. Yeah. So that's it. So well. Thank you for your input uh, on tonight's show, and we've learned something about fake news that we're probably part of it. Uh, yes, right here. And uh, yes, we are fake news. We're, we're not exactly <laughs> the dark web, but we're we're kind of browning. <laughs> You're shadowing. Well, yeah. We we are the brown web. The brown web. Yes. <laughs> yes. 
So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to perform uh, a, a version of uh, Lynn Anderson's uh, parody of Margaritaville uh, coming up called Quarantinaville. And, uh, Quarantinaville. Yes. Mm -hmm. So we hope you all stay tuned for that. That's coming right up right after this word from our sponsor. You have a sponsor? We don't, don't have a sponsor. No, we don't have a sponsor. We don't have a sponsor? No. Have, have you got that cough checked? Have you? I've uh, not had the cough, cough checked. Uh, I've actually, I've had it checked several times, and and uh, there's no uh, rhyme or reason why I should be coughing, but I'm continuing to cough. Do you think it's uh, medication, reaction to some <laughs> medication? I'm pretty sure that it is. How, and, uh, how many pills are you on? Oh, 15, 20 a day. Oh, well. Well. There you go. Yeah. There's got to yeah. be some interaction there. Yeah. 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 So, it's, so it's hard to eliminate which one. And, of course, uh, my doctors, I have several doctors, and they all, uh, uh, they all brouhaha the, not, the <laughs> fact that I've got a cough from medication, and they say nonsense. Mm. Of course. Yes, because it would be too hard to eliminate it. So I just continue to uh, <coughs> cough with my hand over my mouth because that's, <laughs> that, what, that's uh, what we were taught, you know. That's what we were taught. Yeah. And today I was watching our, our dearly beloved and respected and highly rated president on TV and, uh, and our most uh, admired and and respected vice president was on TV and he coughed <coughs> like that. And the uh, Jake, the uh, lying bastard from CNN, uh, said, you, you're not supposed to cough that way. Even though they were not in the same studio, uh, the vice president was at his house. He called him on it? Yeah. And told him he's supposed to uh, cough into your <coughs> into cough into his <coughs> elbow. Yeah. Now, what moron decided that coughing into your elbow is safer than <coughs> coughing into your hand? I don't know. But in in then, your own house, well, I think it's okay. Yeah, in your own house, it's okay. But when you're out, you know, we do pass a lot of germs through shaking hands and stuff. And even the president has learned that that. Uh, you know, you open yourself up to a can of worms when you're out there shaking can hands. Somebody with just suggested IHS. People. That would help you. What? IHS. IHS. Somebody just suggested Indian yeah. Health Services. Yeah, well, they may be the cause of this. <laughs> 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 so, anyway, tonight I was watching. Dearly beloved and highly respected president on his coronavirus report, mm -hmm. and and Mnuchin, or however you say, his Mnuchin, name, Mnuchin, Mnuchin, mm -hmm. Mnuchin, yeah, stand behind him, clearly at less than six feet difference, and he too <coughs> coughed into his hand. Well, see, it's it's what we've been taught, and it's just That's it's right. so hard to relearn everything. Yeah. It's like well, we're, I'm not going to relearn. It. If you don't want my germs, stay the hell away from me. And don't <laughs> shake your hand. Yeah. Don't shake my hand. Exactly. Don't. When I cough, you dive. Yeah. It's almost uh, Johnny Cash esque because remember when we first moved to Hendersonville, Johnny Cash would be in in several uh, of the same buildings that we were in, and he had just a one cough thing like you had, yes. just that, and, just and that. I never, boom. And I never ever saw Johnny Cash. <laughs> cover his mouth when he coughed no if you look at any of the video that he's on well TV maybe that's today, how june died yeah uh he would say uh well here's a song <coughs> i'm gonna do for you this <laughs> my favorite song <coughs> and he never once covered his mouth so You're if correct. it's okay for john uh too bad for the rest of you okay Get Just, over it. yeah there you go Yes. Thanks for tuning so in. The in. Future, when you want me to be on your on your broadcast, yes, here, yes, and I, and I applaud you for 
doing your broadcast, but you need to figure it out. Yeah. Uh, okay. We'll do better because, next time. Because yeah. maybe I was on with all my Canadian buddies, and we were all on here. I didn't look at it. I'm going to have to camera stand. talk to them and find out what the hell yeah. they do. We're, we're They're going superior. To look into that. They're we're, just superior. Yeah, Canadians are just superior. I mean, how many yes. cases do they have? Like three up there in all of Canada now? I so, don't know. Something like that. I don't know. You no, know, it's just Canadians are superior uh, language. You know, they, they use the English, the King's English, to all of its advantages. Thanks, uh, Patty. Was that your bell that I heard? That was my mom sending me a text. That saying, was her our mom pre- chiming in saying. It uh, was very good. She I see. You guys yeah. are very good. Yeah. Very well, then. Very well, then. Thanks for being a part of our show, Mr. Terry yeah. Reed, ladies and gentlemen. Yay, Terry Reed. Hello to your mother. Hello. Hi, Mom. Word, word to your mama. All right. All right. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> Oh, okay. he was kind of mid-word. I got you. I got you. Okay. All right. So, um, Las Vegas. Las Vegas. Las Vegas. Las Vegas is a ghost town. Yeah. And we are missing all of our dates in casinos. All, all the native casinos, nearly all of the native casinos have closed down. Uh, 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 the airlines want to bail out. <laughs> it's funny. Funny airlines getting bail out. <laughs> uh, but uh, they, they, want, they want to be reimbursed for all those uh, high prices that they Terry were gouging Rocks. us uh, with for so long. And, uh, you know, uh, oh, there I am touching my face again. But yeah. the, the CEOs of the oh, airlines. Oh, Deadwood's closed too. Yeah, Deadwood is closed, and, and uh, so is downtown Nashville. For for all intents and purposes, it's pretty much closed down. Uh, all the bars on uh, Lower Broad, and these uh, airline CEOs they've they bought the stock. They've done stock buyback, so they have, you know, they want to make their money by uh, you know, getting Kirk those Will- stock Willie prices. Kirk Willie says we are off. Until June as well. Yeah, most entertainers are off. Uh, there's and they a lot of people. Canceled the doing. Huss Fest. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, yeah. And we are so sad to see the the Huss Fest go, but they were have already rescheduled for 2021. So, uh, and that's the great thing about entertainment. They are they are able to uh, uh, adapt and reschedule, and you know we'll all be back better than ever. But. Uh, that's what most people think. Hi, Glenda Brecky. Okay, I'm, I'm okay. calling uh, Jim Gutsman to get his uh, report, and then we have to get out of here because we are uh, taking way too long. <laughs> We're just rambling now. Aren't you going to do this, the song at, before we go? Uh, yes, I'll do <clears> the song. <throat> I may do the song before we go, but we may wait. This is Kind of uh, tip it towards the camera. Right now you're playing it up at that, um, okay. that tripod that has nothing on it. All right. So, There's Jim. Uh, Jim, are you, are you okay? We're okay up here, Bruce. Uh, it's, it's not been easy uh, calling you from Prior Lake, Minnesota. Yeah. Oh. Um, how's the weather up there? We don't know. We, we've been unable to see it. Uh, a little cloudy, so uh, we can say it's been cool, but it's not winter. And uh, what are you doing? Uh, what is your part in uh, this uh, pandemic uh, quarantining thing. What are what are you and Patty well, doing? We seniors here are all voluntarily going into our closets and laying in the fetal position for eight <laughs> hours a time. And so we think this is going to be our contribution to what we can do to help the others. I we'll I, breathe less air in those smaller spaces. <laughs> Thank you. That's kind. Yep. Yep. I don't know if you guys caught this. I see you're getting feed-ins from Re and everybody and getting all sorts of new information. But it just came out that these people that have been hoarding the toilet paper, well, by God, they're right on. Wow, uh, Dr. Yeah, really? Yeah. Dr. Fausti uh, came out and said the uh, cure for this thing is uh, incredible anal hygiene. 
So these people are <laughs> indeed poised to have some incredible anal hygiene. <laughs> I have no words. That's, that, that's a beautiful that's, thing. If something comes up, write it down. Because <laughs> <laughs> now you and Patty. Anal hygiene is, is going to cure us. Yeah. Well, you know, who would have thought? You know, I certainly wouldn't have. Yeah. No, I wouldn't have gone there first. Are, are you having trouble not touching your face and uh, uh, learning how to cough into your arm? I mean, weren't we raised to be hand coughers? It's like, you're coughing, put your hand over your mouth, our parents used to say. At least my I, I, I coughed into the back of my knee, <laughs> and, and it's, uh, it's not easy. You know, you Jim, do you're doing a thing my mom does. You are sinking low into the frame of the, the your, frame of your phone of your you are phone. sinking pretty oh. soon i'm just talking there, to my eyebrows there. That's oh, a, that's, there yeah, you are. That, yeah. now you're yeah. backlit yeah but at least i, I can, something on the floor i thought it might be a tooth <laughs> <laughs> there we go now we can see you oh yeah no. i know i talked to a pretty awesome three four times a day we're flossing here three four times a day and trying not to touch our face yeah <laughs> and nose picking you know i i'm i'm an occasional nose picker because sometimes you get something in there and you just got to go retrieve it you don't always have a tissue handy and sometimes you just have to go for it, and you can't do that anymore. Are you anymore. saying that because we can see up his nose right now? Yeah. And that's what I'm wondering. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. How's that? That's oh, perfect. You, yours was, it was fine. It was clean. No, it, we can yeah. see. You know, I, I may do an occasional flick, but I'm not going to go up there and try and get that little soft one way in the back and, and pull her down. <laughs> I'm going to let him firm up and not take them out prematurely. <laughs> Well, that's that's what I wanted to know from your your scientific uh, <laughs> expertise, your 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 viewpoint. You know, yeah, yeah. You know, one can only help people every way they can, Bruce. Yeah, and uh, we can help. It. You'd think you would think that during these times, that people would drive <laughs> safer, that people would drive more sensibly, because hey. You're not working, so you don't have to hurry to get to work. You don't have to get in that fast lane and cross over four lanes to get to your exit uh, well, right in front of people. But uh, I guess um, I guess it's my road I rage think people are just uh, boiling really up. Irritable. No, see up here in Minnesota, it's just the opposite. Sometimes people will wait through a green light for you. <laughs> You know, we just don't see it anywhere else. We're, we're pulling over and picking up uh, waste material, too. We're cleaning up the, the streets as we go along, and uh, it's, it's been great up here. Oh, Kevin Murray's calling you, Bruce. Oh, okay. Well, he's going away. Let me... There we go. Okay. All right. Wow, you won. That was my uh, lawn guy calling me. Oh, yeah, I better get a hold of him right now. Yeah. No. Yeah. Yeah, yeah we got tree trimmers coming, too. <laughs> get that cleaned up. Yeah. Uh, God bless you, Jimmy. We're going to have to wind this up because we got... Yes. Well, thank, thank, we got to get, get a hold of the lawn guy. You guys are absolutely great, and, and you're an inspiration to everybody that's listening. Right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we can see by our counter that that's just over two people that are uh, that are watching. Well, that's that's doubled yesterday. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we love you, brother. Yeah, love you too. You guys take care. Okay. okay and say hi to Patty. All right. Our best to Patty. All right. Hi. Hi. There's Patty. It's the red thing. Hi, Patty. Oh, she gone. Hey, Patty. Here, <laughs> we'll just look at it. <sighs> okay. Okay, time for the song and All right. we're out. The song and we're out. Do you have the okay. words? Yeah, I do. Yeah, I do. You talk to the people while mm. I'm doing this. Okay. This is this is our the center of our world right here. This is Percy, who needs a little haircut. But since he's in quarantine also, so he uh so you cannot see his eyes. 
Here you go. There's an eyeball. He can see. And he does one trick. He can roll over, and that's his main trick. This uh, parody was written by Lynn Anderson from Elko, Nevada. Snacking on Cheetos, swatting mosquitoes. Stuck on my porch, I got no place to go. Not caring how I look, checking out Facebook. Just me and the sun, and we're both sinking low. Wasting away again in quarantine of ill. All I can think of to do is just yawn. I've heard it said that no one's got any bread. And I'm told all the TP is gone. They say it's contagious, we must be courageous, and hang out at home till the danger is past, and hang out, wait, okay, where's the words? they say the it's our duty, <laughs> to shelter our booty, I'm trying my best but it's only half ass. Wasting away again in Quarantinaville Struggling with my withdrawal from sports Baseball is out, the whole season's in doubt A sacrifice fly that's aimed right at my shorts <laughs> Washing my hands well I've stocked up on pure rail Vacuumed up every square inch of my house I got beer in the icebox This is no time for detox I'm socially distant so why not get soused Wasting away again in quarantine again. Doing my best not to go plain but sir. All of my kicks will strictly be that flicks to that beautiful day when I go back to work. Thank you, Lynn, and thank you all. Appreciate each and every one of you for tuning in to our coronavirus uh, update number 6752. <laughs> this has been Bruce Williams. And Sharon Williams. <laughs> and Percy Williams. Good night.